turning, finding it difficult to get away then from Schutte. Gives it back, Shane Durkin intercepts. That's good play defensively by Dublin. Just getting a little touch there was John O'Keefe, won back by Paul Ryan. Staying with him is Paddy Stapleton, still Ryan. Needs a little bit of support, goes inside. Conor McCormick, but the linesman has blown his greatest flag, and he's giving a line ball instead to Tipperary. Disappointment there for Dublin as uh, James McGrath, official from Westmead, has his flag up. He's been in Boston for the last uh, couple of weekends, uh, refereeing matches, They're watching us uh, this afternoon in the Clash of the Ash pub in Boston. Shane McGrath going to take this sideline cut. That's the O'Callaghan. Can't get there ahead of Noel McGrath. Van Omar doesn't collect. Liam Ryan hand passes it back. That's the O'Callaghan. Remember, those two players are named in the full forward line, but look where they're playing. Out in the middle of the field. Another sideline ball going to Tipperary. Well, that's your Callan. It might have been more, um, you know, better judge there just to give the ball back to Shane Durkin. He had taken his man with him, just pop it back to him, and Durkin then would have been able to play a good, better ball into the forward line. But uh, Dublin need to keep on playing the game they're playing. Um, they're just a point behind, and uh, bit by bit they might they have to just stay in the game as best they can. Breaking ball picked up. Far as David O'Callaghan, that's it. Goes for distance again. McCon lays it off. Referee doesn't allow the advantage, doesn't allow the play to continue per se. So it's going to be a free for Dublin as a result of that foul on Conor McCormack. Yeah, McCormack gets out in front here and wins the ball and comes through and just taken down. And if he had been, if the ball had been released, the play would have gone on well. Uh, Dublin might have been through for a goal, but um, they'll take a point at this stage. behind uh, the goalposts you get an idea of what Paul Ryan is facing that's his second point Brendan Cummins again take the uh, puck out rather quickly as Paul Curran the layoff is for Parik Ma goes for distance again to test out the Dublin defence ball goes behind Paul Schutte Peter Kelly is there has to battle and take the shoulder take the hit doing better a little bit better now and growing with confidence as goalkeeper Gary Maguire comes out to take the free well, the referee indicated that somebody gave him a little pull as he came out but um, uh, Tip might have been better to judge that to let him come out because he was looking to offload the ball and when he couldn't uh, he was delighted with the free Gary Maguire captain Bally Bowden sent Enders to their fourth title in a row Ryan the wire gives it to Paul Ryan and that is a sweet score by Paul Ryan. Another Bally Bowden man. And that's his first point from play and three in total. O'Dwyer created it for Paul Ryan and he took his chance with aplomb and confidence. And it was a difficult chance, Marty, because he was moving away from goal. He hit it back over the shoulder. That's not an easy um, score to execute. And uh, uh, Dublin all point ahead and that will give him good heart. Pack up by Brendan Cummins. Mal Corker didn't gather cleanly. Picked up instead by Owen Kelly. Knocked away, Liam Rush. Lays it back for Niall Corkman. Picked up instead by Alan McCrowd. Makes a little bit of space for him. Drops it in towards Rhino De Wire. Down inside is Paul Ryan. Keeping him company is Paul Kirk. Rhino De Wire shows a nice pair of heels. Ball inside towards Brendan Cummins. Brendan Cummins drops it and has to uh, see it go out over the sideline. And it is a sideline ball. A little bit of pressure on the Tipperary keeper. Well, they're always difficult to take, um, Marty, because Ryan Dewey hit it. He didn't hit it on, straight on the boss. He hit it sort of down long and, and it created a spin in the ball. That's very difficult to take when you're coming into it. went off his chest and, uh, and he knocked it out for the sideline. But good pressure from Dublin forwards. Alan McCrack putting this. Across the face of the goal and wide. The significant thing about the game, Marty, is that the uh, tip swing forwards, Bonamara and Noel McGrath, haven't been in the game at all, and tip aren't trying to use them just to get the ball and hitting it long. Took out by Brendan Cummins, is aimed at Brendan 
Gunnar Maher. Good work this time again by Michael Carton. Michael Cahill from Perla Sarsfield is going to take this. All Ireland minor medalist 0607. Playing in his 10th championship match this afternoon. Advantage swings to Dublin. Johnny McCaffrey, captain of Dublin. Captain the Miners in 2005 to win that uh, All Ireland. First since 1983. This is picked up by John O'Keefe. Gives it to Shane McGrath. Steps forward. That uh, now familiar style of his, Niall Corcoran, not to be sure, put his body in front of that slipper, steps away, blocked by Bonner Maher, comes back far as Paul Schutte, he's happy to give it out far as Peter Kelly. Under no great uh, pressure, goes for distance, Conor O'Mahony is underneath this, doesn't gather it, great catch by Paul Ryan, gives it back outside for his Dazio Callan, this will be one of the great scores of this All-Ireland semi-final. The two corner forwards, combining beautifully the long ball from Peter Kelly came down to Paul Wright what about this for a catch on landing he lays it off to Dazio Callahan and what about this for a score fantastic down towards Lark Corbett Joey Bullock without the hurt gives it for his Liam Rush playing with confidence now Dublin despite conceding that early goal Michael Cahill gets there ahead of Ryan O'Dwyer. O'Dwyer chases, gets it inside to Shane McGrath, who wasn't really anticipating the uh, pass. It was a poor one. Ball breaks free. In comes Liam Ryan. Picked up here, tried to pick up by Liam Rush. It's a bit of a tussle. In the centre there is Liam Ryan, whose burly frame is causing a few problems, and the crowd are beginning to respond to the endeavours of Dublin. The league champions are showing a lot of bottle in this semi-final. Well, that's why Liam Ryan is playing at centre forward, Marty. He's a great worker. That's his job. He's not a score taker. He's a great worker and uh, gets another good free right in front of the goal now. And uh, Paul Ryan should stick this over. That'll put them a, a few points ahead. Ryan O'Dwyer is the player that's uh, down injured. Picked up uh, an earlier injury, of course, in the campaign that required 35 stitches on his ear. Great sporting family, his dad, his grandfather rather, Paddy Ryan won an Olympic medal back in the 1920s. As Paul Ryan takes the free and registers his fourth point of the game. Yeah, Marty, that's three points from freeze for, for Dublin. That was the thing uh, about Tip, that their discipline wasn't great the Monster Final and their, their discipline isn't great here either. Puck out comes down to Bonamar. Struggling to get away from Michael Carton. Gets the ball in towards Larry Corbin. Gets a touch and Joey Boland is there. Dublin were backtracking. And defensively, they're to be applauded. And that's exactly what the large crowd, over 35,000 in Croke Park, are doing. They're beginning to see the Tipperary, the All-Ireland champions, have a game on their hands here. Ball sent across towards Seamus Callanan. Joey Boland with him. Callanan from the sideline right along the sideline hits it and puts it over the bar that's a really good score as well well you know Patrick Maher got that pass out there for Michael Cal loads of time Cal made a run and put it right in front of him and a great score from Tip but Tip needed when you come in as hot favourites Marty you know your mind might be a little bit off but they know they're in the battle so they'll have to play the ball much faster into the forward line took out again from Gary Maguire is Continuously being aimed in the direction of Liam Rush. Beautiful wrist work by Seamus Callanan. But again, it's Dublin that have the slither. That's your Callahan into the space. Great ball in towards Alan McGrath. Good work by the All Star. Sends it across. Good anticipation and interception by Porrick Ma. Sends it back down. Joey Boland underneath it. Dublin playing with a lot more confidence. Sent back in as Tipperary go forward. Paddy Stapleton is in there hovering. Who has it? Liam Ryan bursting forward under severe pressure. Still Ryan inside the McTaggart tries to get a shot. Blocked by Torek Maher. Referee says play on. 
Liam Ryan is still on the ground, but it's Mild is coming away with the slither, and it is great defending by Tipperary. The heart and soul of the Premier County being tested by the Dublin Jackings. Well, I think the Dublin supporters felt that, you know, that it was a little bit of a dive, and I think Tordic Marr hesitated first when he was going to tuck it from the edge of the square, moved out a little bit, and uh, I'd like to see that one again, Marty, but he'll be delighted to get that free. Raise it to pressure. Free taken by Brendan Cummins. Goes for distance again. Picked up again by Joey Bolland. He's not hanging about, he's not messing about. He's going for distance every time. But perhaps a shorter pass might be more beneficial. Michael Cahill comes forward from left corner back. Dropping it down again. Johnny McCaffrey. Eight on his back, but playing at centre half back with this man, Joey Bolland. Defensively, Dublin doing well, strategically doing well. Ball into space, but when you're playing a two-man full forward line, perhaps it would be a better option to go short. Easy ball for Paul Kirk. Gives it to Paddy Sableton. Niall Corcoran, tussling with Owen Kelly. Picked up by Lar Corbett. Trouble immediately for the dubs. Corbett on the turn. Umpire goes for his flag. It is now one goal and two points for Lar Corbett. And he's probably touched the slither about four times. Well, even maybe three, Marty, but it, that's, you know, Peter Kelly needs to be much closer to him and, uh, you know, get in very, very close and tight and uh, make sure that he doesn't turn because once Lark comes onto the ball, right, okay, well, it is either the goal or a point. Again, every time, Gary Maguire not changing the direction of his puck outs, beaming them and directing them towards Liam Rush. Rhino to wire, three temporary lads on to wire, sneaking in, who got the last touch? It's a 65. But Rhino de Wire is a poacher. Well, he lost his hurley there, Marty. Uh, I think just pulled out of his hand by Paul, if he had, by Paul Curran. If he had the hurley in his hand, he might have been able to knock it past them, um, Brendan Cummins. But uh, he's certainly causing a lot of problems in there for the tip defence. Sixty-five for Dublin, first of the afternoon. This Paul very, Ryan to take it. This is very important, Omar. This is his first long-range one, and it would be a great fill-up for Dublin if he could get this one. Well, he's already been scoring freely with uh, four points. Is that bang on target? It is. He's now scored five, three frees, one sixty-five, and one from play. Puck out by Brendan Cummins. Owen Kelly seems to bounce off his hurl. Comes down towards Liam Rush. Connor Marr gathering, going forward. Two Dublin players around him. Lays it off to Lar Corbett. Uses the short grip, and that's another point for Lar Corbett. His personal tally is increasing every time he touches the ball. It's now one goal and three points. Well, P Peter Kelly sucked in there to take in Bonamar and, um, you know, Lark Corbett using his great experience just to come on to the break, stick it over the bar. 1-3, you no know, great return for him. Sometimes it's hard to believe that Lark Corbett never played minor or under-21 hurling for Tipperary. When you see what sort of a player...